like that. I honestly have a camera on the Battle of the Hostesses and I have a camera on Kathy's cooking class. I'm doing two at one. Hi, I'm Natalie. I'm your Epicure Consultant for these uh, two cooking classes that we're doing today, the Battle as well as uh, the Single Hostess. We're doing chicken fajitas tonight and um, I have a few things prepped. Uh, so the oven is on because I'm going to be doing it in uh, sheet pans because when I put my microwave on, it cuts off my live videos. So we're gonna just do it as a sheet pan meal. I would generally do it in the steamer, but it'll be nice to put it in the oven because then my peppers and everything will crisp up. First, what I'm doing first, we'll be cutting the chicken. So I'm just gonna make little slices. I'm using um, the- Chicken. Sheet. It's chicken, yes. That's my daughter on the ground. Um, I'm using our ceramic knife. I have the older ceramic knives there. They uh, were a few seasons ago. Sometimes they come back as special items. Honestly, just sh like stripping, stripping, making strips of the chicken. Um, I did rinse my chicken. I bought it today. Uh, boneless, skinless, nothing too uh, out of the ordinary here. And uh, you can see how, how quickly like the ceramic knife, it just like plows through this. I don't need anything special. This is good. It's on my sheet. What are these called? <laughs> They nap home. <laughs> uh, well, they're like, it's like a cutting board, but it's a cutting mat, I think. And then the Epicure has the cutting board as well. The cutting board. I prefer the board than the mat, but I will have multiple surfaces uh, today. So I think I might actually have one piece of chicken too much. I'm feeding um, myself, uh, my daughter who is Me. 10. Me. Uh, Nilidzi. France will come too. Uh, she's at cheerleading right now. And with a mask. With a mask, because cheerleading started up again today. Um, the activities that we love have started again. And uh, uh, Teo is here too, so um, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna stick with just three chicken breasts. <laughs> Teo just wants to, me to let you know that he's not here. He's unhappy that I made him turn off his TV show. Um, I did want him to wash his hands and come and play with us, but Anyways, he is doing whatever he's doing. Probably playing in his room. So I shredded the, I, I shredded. I <laughs> stripped the uh, chicken. And I'm gonna use our quarter pans. So these are the quarter sheet pans and I have the liner. This is a game changer, okay? This is the best product that you could have. Um, so you can have the regular size sheet pan and then put the two liners in. They have a nice border. You can make uh, chocolate bark. You can make uh, anything. It wipes clean. It is brilliant. So uh, we're going to be cooking on there. So I have the fajita spice, that, oh, kind of showcasing the um, Mexican meal kit. Uh, but these products are available individually. Okay, so the fajita spice um, has cayenne. Um, it is spicy. Um, I'm a very mild kind of person so it's spicy I'm gonna put about half of the recommended amount because it's spicy um, if you're a super mild person I would suggest maybe even just going with the, the taco spice so the taco is also available um, has great flavor but not spicy so well I don't find it's like a smoky and eh, smoke I, I can't tell anyways I like it so I just did the fajita because most actually my six-year-old really enjoys spice so uh i do too you do too okay so my 10 year old also really likes spice okay so now i like thought guacamole spice it's amazing we're gonna be making guacamole that's why Melody's here today <laughs> um so Melody, take the vegetables the the uh poivron oh. with, with yes, just so. so these are Melody's yes, gonna so. take care of the uh peppers i'm using a, the bag of pepper medley that i got at the store Eddie. um generally I would use fresh peppers. I just bought them because they were on sale and I've had them for a while. So I just put the SPG them. It might have chicken hands. So we kind of and you're going to put some of that on the veggies. The what? So because we're seasoning them. Yeah. Uh, well, usually I put like a tablespoon or whatever, but just, yeah, that's good. I don't know if The SPG. SPG is salt, pepper, garlic, and there's actually parsley, which makes it the, the brown, the brown the green color in there. Um, it is really phenomenal in uh, the, the ratio of uh, what's in there. So it's really a good one. Great on roasted 
any vegetables. So you can put the fajita wow. or whatever right on the veggies. I'm just kind of going to lighten it up a little bit. This smells really good. <laughs> and, okay, and so strong. I put the oven on at 400. We'll see how this goes. The chicken I'm going to open up and I'll uh, be turning it around. So because they're frozen veggies, I don't want them to be soggy, so I'll let them broil a little bit and some stuff. So now that Izzy's gonna walk us through making the guacamole. This is my show. Yeah, this is your show now. <laughs> so you gotta talk to the camera when it's your show, honey. Hello. Uh, how was your day going? It's for just a quick pace. You don't take the sticker off. You're taking the peel off, honey. Huh? Okay. <laughs> so Izzy is cutting the avocado. I'm trying to cut the avocado. So what you do, you cut an avocado, obviously. <laughs> and why do you like the guacamole spice? Because uh, it's good. <laughs> I like it because um, it... Uh, Let's talking more cutting it. Um, I don't know why. Okay, so the guacamole spice is um, a blend that's actually spot on. After I started the guacamole, I no longer wanted to even buy, like, you know, pay an extra, extra dollar, and then you'll be able to uh, have the, the guac at Subway or whatever, at Boston Pizza or wherever. I never buy the guac anymore because our guac is just so much When better. you taste the Epicure guacamole, you never want... Uh, you're not going back. You're, you're not going to, like, a... And we're going to make it, I use three big avocados because Minazi, like, we're going to have this on toast because it's delicious. So, oops, oops. <laughs> we actually planted an avocado pit. <laughs> I'm trying to get roots at the bottom there. So if you can see, it kind of split in the middle. So I know that I'm doing the right thing. So that's what, it, yeah, so I'm putting it in where there's sunshine. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so that's the guacamole talk in there. Um, okay, and there's a third one, so I'm just gonna hop in here. She licked her fingers without thinking. Isn't she professional, eh? So I see that there's people hopping on. Hi guys, thanks for joining. I'm back from washing my hands. Okay, the guacamole is babe. Prends les. Can you read what's the ingredients? Okay, so ingredients babe. so she's gonna read you what the ingredients onion in sea salt red bell pepper garlic spices herbs and chili so the herbs uh it says herbs what are herbs herbs is um i can actually find out exactly what mm. the herbs are mold we'll show them what it there's two cameras oh, there so we'll walk through yeah. the camera there's um so so for the ipad there's this <laughs> and for the phone it's this so there's a proprietary uh, blend, so they know to not give away their secrets of what's in the blend, they say herbs. But if there's a dietary reason, I can log into my back office. And so actually, good. Yeah. Okay, so all those ingredients, um, two ripe avocados, I did three, and then three tablespoons of dip mix and a splash of lime juice. I don't have any lime juice. I forgot to grab the limes and I thought of it, non j'ai vérifié deux fois, mais l'eau, mais three tablespoons of the guac. The guac is not a spicy um, dip at all. Unless you, you put too much. Um, so you can even, um, actually, I'm making salsa as well after this. So another idea is you can use the guacamole spice in your salsa because the poco picante uh, seasoning, which I will um, be doing right now, is, no, I find it, I find it spicy. So, uh, go ahead, hun. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. This is, I call it the smasher thingy. The meat separator is phenomenal for this. It's good for mashed potatoes. I use it to mash up the frozen juice um, when I'm making a pitcher of juice. So uh, the kids aren't very big on tomatoes. So, I, again, I'm just using my ceramic knife. But just, like, honestly, like, seriously, like, there's no smushing of my tomato. How fantastic is that? Um, so this is how it looks like so far. Phone, iPad. I can. You can add. Uh, there's other recipes on this for the guacamole. There is uh, creamy guacamole where you add sour cream or yogurt. That's how I like my guac is with a little bit of sour cream, just to make it a little creamier. There's Teo. Uh, he feels better apparently. It's good. Um, and then there's another recipe for hummamole. So it's to make the the guac with hummus. So the recipe is just right on the jar. Um, I know that the CEO of Epicure, she, like, guac guac is just such a phenomenal spice. 
Um, she actually uses it as a rub on chicken. Pardon? Who? Amelia, the CEO. Her mom was the creator of Epicure. Um, anyway, so as a rub on chicken, the guac. I've heard a few things. Are you you're good there, huh? Yeah. So, uh, smashing the chunks. Smashing the chunks. There we are. Listen for their next hit. So, so I am done smashing the guacamole. iPad, phone, here you go. Okay, so now I'm cutting tomatoes. Just leave that aside. Oh, do, uh, so this is the poke. No, you're not putting that in there. This is for the salsa. So this is the poco picante. Um, I think it's a brand new jar. Oh, no, there. Um, read the ingredients. Close it up, please, and put read the ingredients. Okay. Uh, ingredients. What? Where are you? There's not. There what? We see that. Ingredients. Okay. Uh, onion, sea salt, garlic, chilies, spice. Uh, spices. Again, it's proprietary. I can tell you if there's allergies. Uh, cayenne. Cayenne, pepper, jalapeno, chives. And chives. Yeah, jalapeno and chives. So, um, like there's cayenne and the jalapeno. So two different kinds of spice in here. So, you know, the recipe says stir two tablespoons of it in one cup of diced tomatoes and let stand for 15 minutes. You can stir into bean or rice salads, top grilled meat or egg dishes. Actually, eggs would be really good with this. Um, okay, oh so. C'est quoi le nom là? Avec les oeufs et comme la viande autour là. Hadada or something. Hadada. No! Hadada. No, comme la chose là que tu. C'est pas du soir pidio, c'est l'autre. Le chili? No. My god. Tu faisais. Oh, Cuevos Rancheros. That! Huevos, rancheros. That! <laughs> yeah, it would actually be good on that breakfast. You you guys didn't really like the eggs on the top of that meal, but I thought it tasted phenomenal. Okay, uh, so this is the four, four cup prep bowl. It comes with a silicone lid. Um, they're, you know, everyone's going into the glassware trying to stay away from the plastic. I personally still have a lot of my Tupperware, and I love it. Uh, yeah, my all in the pantry, there's like a lot. I have a lot of Tupperware. I have a thing. So, okay, I did lick my finger. I'm aware of it. <laughs> Wash your hands. I want to eat this. <laughs> so, um, it calls for one cup. I've got about one and a half cups here of to diced tomato. And that's not the right jar. I have it in my hands. Okay. Two, ta <laughs> two tablespoons mix with a cup of diced tomatoes. I'm not doing two because my mouth will be on fire. My mouth will be on fire. Yeah, I know. So, oh, this is really a lovely blend. Va montrer. Okay, so I did one tablespoon. Um, hey, iPad first. This is for you. This is, it's like a red, orange. There's like, okay, don't, no, Eddie, you're gonna red, your, your orange, orange with like green. Here you go. Okay, and. Oh, yeah, so yum. Yes, yum. <laughs> yum. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, so there we go. Là, peux-tu prendre le bol et le montrer qu'est-ce que ça de l'air? Oh, it's tomato, the spice on it. <laughs> Well, and you wait 15 minutes, so the garlic, the peppers, all those things are going to rehydrate, and it's going to look phenomenal. You can absolutely add your own peppers, your own pieces of whatever you like in your salsa, um, whatever you want. That'd be great. Oh, I totally forgot to add olive oil to my canned chicken. Whatever, we're going to add olive oil now, because I forgot. Bozo. It's in the moon. Excuse me, Lord. Okay, so it's been in there. I don't know how many minutes. This is the first thing we did. How long are we going? Whatever. We'll go back on the time and figure out how long it's been in there. Basically, pretty much like almost done, right? Like pretty good. I'm going to flip it over, separate them a little bit. See, there's some that's not cooked, but oh yeah, definitely. If you like the spice, you just add more of the fajita on there. But uh, yeah, this looks awesome. So sheet pan for the win. No, lishpa. Lishpa. My veggies look pretty good, actually, too. The guacamole is finished. It, yeah, the veggies look good. They're not crispy or burnt or anything. Right so. now, I'm just mixing it. Okay, so that's good. Voila. 
then I already have shredded cheese. I'm just gonna check how long we've been going here. No, it doesn't want to talk to me. Okay. <laughs> you don't know how long we've been going. Oh wow. Okay. So guac, so, cocoa. So on the iPad there's two people watching and on the phone there's two people watching. Yep. Fajita, there was four people. There was, oh, there's three now. So we did Fajita, we did SPG, and taco. Okay, so people how, that just joined, we're doing chicken fajitas. Uh, well, you're doing guacamole. We have salsa. This is the the steamer. Okay, so this is the multi-purpose steamer. This is what I would have done had I not had a live video. Um, live videos, I end up the microwave ends up um, cutting me off from you. It just goes black. So I figured I'd do it this way. The chicken looked really good, eh? Uh, what time supper? Yeah, thanks. <laughs> Come on over. Wait, what? So, um, guess no, see, Teo Kiju. Okay. There's the holes for the steam. Actually, I would have just tossed my chicken, popped it right in there with the lid and uh, put it in there probably five minutes, six minutes. Uh, depends on the strength of your microwave. Um, yeah, so like this thing is a godsend, but honestly, the sheet pan did not take long at all either. We have a new steamer, um, which is the round oh, the steamer. Round uh, COVID hit, people got this and people were making bread, like sourdough bread, like crazy in this steamer. Uh, it goes from the microwave straight into your oven. If you wanted to make it chicken, you put your chicken in there, 28 minutes in the microwave, take the lid off, broil it to get the skin nice and crispy and, uh, done. So, and how, like, how easy to clean this? You just, you could even take like a paper towel and it would be clean. Anyways. Same thing with the sheet pan liners. Like you make nachos on the liners and then you can like flick off the burnt cheese and eat it because it's not like full of foil. Okay, Mido, c'est beau. Woo, woo. Okay, winner. <laughs> and uh, so there you go, this is awesome. Okay, I want to put the guac. Uh, nah, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we'll put it in here. And then it's see-through so people can so, see. Okay, so yeah, people can see. This is our new spatula. It is awesome to get like in the bottom of jars. Oh yeah, come, I don't so actually cheese. have a, bot a jar here, but like look, right? Like if you wanted to get in the bottom of your mayo or uh, I don't know, peanut butter, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and again, it's just like, it's point, oh, love it. Love it, love it. My mom used it to like, get off all the cake thing. Yeah, the cake batter. Oh, and can't waste that stuff. <laughs> we got some fudge sauce and gotta eat it. So yeah, so just cleaning off the spatula that, oh my God. Can I lick it? No, oh. yeah, I did zill lick it. Stop saying that. <laughs> uh, okay, so meat separator, again, another great tool. Um, you know what? At, I'm going to make a post with everything I featured in this video. Um, prices, length, maybe a couple little tips about it. Uh, yeah, so, you know, to make the hummus, I think all you do is you make the guac like this, and then you add, hummus. not hummus, you just add the chickpeas. Hmm. And then like, it's high in protein and stuff. That's actually, maybe, I don't know. We're not, we're not huge on hummus. I eat it once in a while. Uh, mange le mange. It's le mange? It's cool. Sort of good. <laughs> oh, so, sorry. I clean my bowl with my spatula. So Would you look at that? There's like almost nothing in there. And yeah, so the spatula, you know, it's a spatula. Like, ooh, ooh, spatula. But it's actually <laughs> really good. So, okay. And then uh, just waiting for the chicken to be done again. Um, this is the oh four in one spice spoon. You have your tablespoon. So, and they all fit in the jars. Like the Tupperware ones, they don't fit. I still have them, clearly I'm not getting rid of it, but like, they don't fit. This fits perfect, uh, one tablespoon. Then at the end here, you have a teaspoon here. And if you flip it over, so like there's two sides, you have the half teaspoon, and there's a, a gradient on it here for a quarter teaspoon. So you've got all the measurements that you need depending on your recipe, it's all right here. So I honestly just rinse it and I leave it in with my um, kitchen utensils, which I'm very proud of this. I love my little bin. With chaos on chaos it. Chaos for my, my, my group is chaos in the kitchen. Okay, we let's talk. Writing, but who cares? <laughs> We're weak. <laughs> so, voila, ooh. 
Ooh. Oh, wow. Flash charge. Okay. Yeah, we're getting uh, there. Nice. Oh, the battery's low. It's okay. It, like, we're not going to talk for another 10%, so we're good. Mm -hmm. Um, Here we go. I don't want to... There's actually, like, liquid um, from Ew. the chicken, so I'm <laughs> going to just get rid of that. Um, But, yeah, like, I think it's done. I'm going to leave it in a little bit longer, actually. Mm. Yeah, there's some pieces that are thicker. Uh, maybe another couple minutes, but that worked out wonderfully. And let's check on the... Pepper. On the peppers. Yeah, I'll open it. Can I open it? No, I'll pass it to show Okay. Okay, so this is the one that People I... that joined were making chicken fajitas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like saying it. And the peppers. Actually, this is good. Ooh. Fizz. So there we go. And all we did is we put uh, like SPG in there. Um, oh, they do smell good, eh, babe? Yeah, right on. Okay, cool. So, yeah. Let's see what people are saying. That chicken looks yummy. Crystal's here. Awesome. Okay. He's a Bowie, so we'll see. <laughs> okay, Alexa, stop. We're going to check out the chicken, and we'll call this... Uh, We'll call this cooking class over in a minute because we're going to eat, get it all set. Oh, yeah, we're good. This is awesome. Woo, woo. Cool. It, it's even starting to get golden because it's uh, it's baking. Nice. Super cool. So there we go. Chicken's done. And the, I'm just going to stab one to make sure. But yeah. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally done. Awesome. Good dance moves, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Okay, cool. So chicken's done, dinner's done, guac is done. Um, I'm going to make, uh, I'm gonna take a bunch of pictures of what we're doing, I'm gonna make a little slideshow and I'll uh, show you guys that after. I hope you enjoyed our cooking class from start to finish. Like we're like at 25 minutes guys, like dinner, totally done.